All right, g'day, it's Dwayne from Wallace Sound. I'm sitting here with a couple of icons, Randy and Fletcher from Pennywise. Yes! Guys, this is your 20th trip to Australia. Holy fucking shit. I was there for your first. No way. And yeah. Brisbane. No, no, I okay. was there for Alternative Nation in 95. What city though, Brisbane? In Sydney. Okay, that was, I just talked about it. That was my most memorable show of my life. Yeah. Was that show. The, fir the, first, the first one in Sydney. Yeah, when live was playing and everyone showed up. Yeah. And it went fucking crazy. The barricade broke, all of it. It was fucking unreal. Yeah, I was off, off to the side. I'd managed to. You were just, scared. You were young. Yeah, yeah, I looked over. I was 17. Oh, and yeah. I looked over and saw the, sh the shit fight that was going on and went, yeah, it was I'm safer shit. over here. Yeah, it was a shit. It was scary up there. It was really fun, though. It's good. But it's not the most. Like, you've also done some really insane. Like, you did 98. I think you did. Um, Vans Warp Tour on Sydney Harbour. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, that was a little... That was actually on the harbour, right? Yep. That was... I told Steve Van Doren, hey, man, and Kevin Lyman, hey, let's rent a boat. I'll, I'll pay for the boat if you pay for the beer. And they were like, okay. So the first time we did it, it was a tiny little boat. Yeah. And we went across the, <laughs> the bay, and we had to pick up... It was like about 50 people... We, you weren't on that boat. No, I wasn't It was on the that biggest boat. piece of shit. <laughs> we went across the bay, and we had to pick up a band's gear. And I think they were called, like, Electric Love Tank or something weird. Okay. And uh, I smashed their shit up. Oh, did you? Yeah. And I got in trouble, and I had to pay for it. But, like, went across there, and it was fucking awesome. Well, the next time, I think, on that Warp Tour, we did a proper one with, like, 300 people. And it was many. It was... Do you remember that? It was... Oh, yeah. You, you go? On the boat? Okay, cool. Some people didn't show up. But uh, it was crazy. I mean, like, the captain, all the employees were trying to stop the mosh pit. People diving out of, like, from the balcony onto the dance floor. Complete mayhem. Blink. Suicidal was on it. It was, it was fucking You're good. kidding. Oh, it was crazy. See, that's a dream lineup, even back then. They brought us back. I always wanted to get arrested on a boat in, in like, on a boat, like, a yeah. Sex Pistols, like, on the Thames River thing. That was my goal. I paid for the boat, Penny was paid for the boat, Kevin paid for the beer, Van Dorn paid for the food, and it went awry, and we got surrounded by cops out there in the harbor, and they brought us back to the dock and started fucking, you know, getting getting ugly. And I just broke my way free and went to the casino. And I good. missed it. Oh, God, that because, was good. That uh, beca was a good one. Because at the moment now in Sydney, there's just started a dive bar on the water. There's a boat that goes out. They have... Well, at the moment, they've done a bunch of grindcore bands, but I don't Did think... Did Lagwagon just play that? No. They just played something on a boat. No. Only on Lagwagon. Oh, I mate, think. a bunch of local bands. There's um, King Parrot. They've just finished... King Parrot, fuck yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to be there in a couple weeks, man. So, mm -hmm. um, And they just finished a tour in the, in the States as well. Supporting Pantera, Fucking amongst Pantera, others. that's what I was going to say. Phil loves a little King Parrot. Yeah, man, they're so good. Yep. But now it's your 20th. 20th run down here yep. was there that moment like holy fuck we've done 20 20 runs down to um, we Australia we didn't know until they brought us a cake yesterday <laughs> <laughs> like seriously like I remember it was the day before Melbourne they brought like Chris O'Brien brought us cake said hey congratulations 20th tour like we had no fucking idea yeah because I, I remember speaking to you last year before um, your last gig which in Sydney with the Enmore and that was last year last September and I asked you how many times you'd been here, and you had no idea. <laughs> Why would I? I'm drunk all the time. Well, that was well. That brings me to my next part. Like you, I was I waiting. Bought, I bought it up before. Um, I've seen you several times on stage drinking out of Pringle cans, and I didn't want to be a rude host. So this one's a pre-prepared Pringles can. It's got ice in it. Oh. Excellent. Randy, I, I don't know. Did, would you like a drink? This one's full of chips. I'll just hang on yeah. to it. Randy's sober now. He's a quitter. Oh, have you? Oh, congratulations, yeah. man. He's a bitch-ass quitter. It's that, really hard to yeah. not drink around <laughs> Fletcher. <laughs> Definitely. Um, like and he look, needs to take medicine. And I, I heard you like Bundaberg. Right? I've got these little ones. I'm going to have to say that Bundaberg's not my favorite. Captain Morgan's is. Oh. But, but are you only dealing with that? Well, I've got that. Should we make him um, somebody that, run? If that's not enough, I've got that. Oh, shit. Okay, we're going to have to go Bunderberg today. I okay. Was, I was talking shit yes, or earlier interview about Bunderberg. Yeah. I'm going to do it for you. It and, seems and like a smaller Pringles can. Let me get a little taste of hey, that. Yeah, get Fletcher, a little taste is that the same if size worse Pringles comes to worse, or is it smaller? Little, they're all a little smaller, okay. Um, and because you're in huh. Australia, I thought this was really cool. I don't know if you like whiskey. Oh, this no. is Ned Kelly whiskey. 
Australian whiskey as well. This we, is whiskey. This isn't wrong. <laughs> but we're uh, going to get it done. You're going to get... Right. Would you like another one? Is I that, mean, usually it's about five of these, and they're called Captain Morgan's. But we do got I, ju- we, do yeah. I just give you that one? No, no. Not, not. <laughs> do, we have, do we have any Diet Coke? I've got Coke Coke. Are oh, you on a diet? He's diet oh, no, I'm coke. A diabetic. Oh, are ya? Yeah. We're not fucking giving you that then. It's got to be a diet coke somewhere. In yeah, a, there'll yeah. be a diet coke somewhere. We'll get it for you. Um, they call it. Hey, you know where our dressing room is? No. This is a good bit coke though. <laughs> Why we organize that kick up? I'm sorry, I bought coke. No, I just, no, no, fuck. You're you, diabetic. What you've done is it's very, very, thoughtful. very thoughtful. And um, and I did mean to ask if you were drinking before um. But congratulations on your sobriety. Oh, thank you. On your Pringles. Yeah, thank yeah. You. Uh, it seemed, it's a common thing. I'm I'm weary to bring up drinking um, backstage because a lot of guys are quitting. Come here. My wife uh, yeah. made me quit, and I was pissed right. off about it. But and then, then after I had some time off, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I needed Coke it. Zero uh, and yeah, I've, I've quit a couple times. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I think I'm due Our again. Our on um, the door. I quit Get when I was younger also, but I was doing all kinds of things, not just booze. Yeah. Yeah. And, and after t- it's how's that for you? Sorry, oh, needs diet coke. I mean, you know, I, I could I could like play along and say it's great, but it's a Bundaberg has given me very bad hangovers. Oh. It's it's very difficult for me to consume Bundaberg in Australia. Well, it's it's called fight juice too. Like, are you drinking? Are you I don't drink the stuff. Do drink, no. yeah, I, I drink whiskey. I'm a whiskey. No, yeah, I'm not sober. See, if I drink whiskey, I go to jail. That's fight juice for me. I go to yeah. fucking jail right away. Yeah, well, I'm a beer drinking savage as well. That tastes, so. That Bundaberg tastes like fucking straight up whiskey, and Kraken <laughs> tastes like fucking jail cells too. To me. Yeah, yeah. But but so, uh, but um, yeah. But all thank you. We're working on the, the proper dose right now. So once while we're doing that, look, you're on. This is a pretty diverse lineup you've got here on on good things. You've Absolutely. got Devo. They're calling the day after fifty years. Your mates, No Effects. They're calling it a day as well. Nice. Lies, you reckon it's all bullshit? I'm pretty tight with Fat Mike, and he says absolutely they are never playing another show again. And uh, I don't believe him. Him and Vince Neil are close friends. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. Okay. Told you to get off your fat fucking ass and get yourself. Tell Gordy to go. <laughs> hey, do me a favor. Tell Gordy to go to Japan and get the fucking leg extension. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's only about eighty thousand, but be four inches taller and fucking become a man of some sort. <laughs> that poor little hobbit. Um, absolutely. Okay, are we getting the Pringles? You know, because they get, they pay me monthly. Oh, do they? Fuck no. They okay, shoot. so we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all of it. And a whoops. Yep. <laughs> Coke Zero for the diabetes. Yeah, what, right. Do you, yep. do you know how diabetes works? Um, sugar, no. Below 100 is good. Okay. Above 100 is bad. Above 250 is go to the hospital. Let's check my blood sugar real quick. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's okay. put. The, I'm going to get a beer so I can say I had a drink okay. with uh, the Pennywise, guys. Oh, shit, signal us. Oh, don't say that. I'll have uh, salt no, and vinegar. Would you like Pringles. salt and vinegar Pringles? Man, yeah. Yeah. Man Pringles. So, are... Hey, hold this. Sorry. I can't. I'm needing... you hold it. I'll hold so this. So then you put the lid back on it. Yep. Right? Like this. Yep. Hey, do you... Uh, yeah, that's good. Then you, then you have a completely self-contained... Yeah, yeah. Here's a true story. I know it's about me and shit, but most of them are. Mm. We played Aftershock Festival... With like Slipknot and Pantera, I think Pantera canceled like a couple weeks ago. No. I took a rum and coke yep. from the festival I drank on stage in, in this. Yeah. Randy saw it. I took it through security at the airport. They bomb checked it. They said, what is this? It's what I take my medicine with. What is this? It's not important. Went through security, the, the x-ray. I filmed it all. <laughs> drank it in the airport. Drank it on the plane. Drank it on the way to Palm Springs. Went to Raw Power and walked into a huge 50,000 person festival by all the security with the, the same Pringles can full of rum and went to the Guns N' Roses front of the stage drinking my fucking same Pringles can full of rum. No one ever stopped me. So when you want to go somewhere and get drunk, this is the answer. Pringles cans. The answer without, is brother. Without Bundaberg in it. I'm having a beer with the guys from Pennywise. Yep. 20 times in Australia. That is the best. That doesn't look we like 100 to I, me. Well, it just won't say anything. It just means I'm dead. She's trying to kick us out, but we only have a photo shoot after this, right? That's Man, more important I'll question. tell you what. Now, let's talk about um, Cheers again. when you were coming up as an opal miner. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> you better get your mic back if you're going to you talk want your about bikes? opal mining. Yeah. 
Yeah. That was a Bogan joke for those who didn't get it. <laughs> all Bogans opal mine, right? Yeah, all of us, man. Am I getting in trouble for up? this? Am yeah, I crossing the line? I was born in an opal mine. So there was these guys that would come <laughs> from the outback where they mined opals. Remember that, guys? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Dude they would come to it. our shows, and they were like straight out of fucking Mad Max shit. And they'd always show up, and they'd have a bag full of opals for me. Yeah. And some good ones. Like, one of them was worth like 5000 bucks. I found out. Wow. And they'd give us little bags of like fire opals and shit, and they'd come to the shows, and they'd trade opals for beer. And we'd fucking go hard. And they that were sounds like fucking a good tried. righteous bogans. Love those guys. I can't remember his name. I feel kind of shitty now. That's all right. So here's to the Bogans in Cuba, Petey, mining opals. Cuba, Petey. Here's to you guys, 20 trips down to Australia. It's been an honour. I was there for your first. I'm here for your 20th. I'll be here for 21 and so on. Cannot the wait. Thank you. Till the last. To the last. I was talking to other people. I'm going to open a bar. My wife's Australian. She's from Melbourne. I Melbourne. heard that. <laughs> and we're going to open a bar. We're going to somehow make James from Cherry Bar disappear. Yep. Quietly. Yep. We're gonna take over, and we're gonna open a bar in Melbourne. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. What's you it gonna be called? Yeah, what's it gonna be called? Pooh Bar. <laughs> Randy named it Pooh Bar earlier. Pooh Bar. I think it's appropriate. If yeah. Fletcher owns it, it's called the Pooh Bar. Not getting in there, but yeah, that's perfect. We don't want to leave. We like to keep talking, but you want us to go. So we, oh, yeah, I don't want you. Go. I want you to city, but we're on it. We're on a thing, and yeah, we're getting boomed. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank a genuine so much. honor. Cheers. Woo!